American composer George Gershwin wrote his jazz-influenced orchestra piece, An American in Paris, in 1928. It premiered at Carnegie Hall and was later turned into a movie in 1951 starring Gene Kelly and Leslie Caron. An American in Paris is currently on stage at Overture, and our Michael Bruno went backstage to check out the more than 500 costumes that are used during the show. I'm backstage at the beautiful Overture Center, and it's the wonderful show of An American in Paris, and I'm here with the wardrobe supervisor, Meredith Scott. Meredith, okay. thank you. Approximately how many costumes total are there in the show? Um, there are 550 total costume looks in the show, so really big. <laughs> how could you show us another one? Yeah, of course. This dress here is inspired by Josephine Baker, who was an American singer uh, and dancer who was dancing in Paris around uh, this time period. So she's, we have a little homage to her in the show. And then my favorite, one of my absolute favorites in the show is the showgirl. Um, and this costume is very inspired by Radio City. It is a fantasy sequence within the show. It's the big tap number in Act 2. Um, and it tends to be the one that the crowd loves the most. <laughs> So talk about the color palette, the very end, the very end scene. Oh yes, yes, yes. So the big, the big American in Paris ballet, which is the 20 minute ballet in the middle of Act Two of our show, um, they are based on um, Mondrian. So it's very color blocked, very primary colors, um, and everyone in this scene wears a variation of these colors and in different patterns. Some of the girls have a skirt, some of the girls don't. The boys all have different colored pants, but everything is built on this color block pattern. Uh, now now this skirt is part of the masquerade scene, which is the very end of Act One, and I think these are my favorite uh, group of costumes collectively in the show. Uh, everything is red, black, and red, and it's you know a masquerade ball. So everybody has on lots of lace and feathers, and there's you know clearly this has lots of petals and some sparkle, and um, it has tassels, and everybody has a crazy headpiece with feathers and multiple colors, and everybody's in a mask. And what's a show without feathers? I love that. <laughs> these, these are beautiful. And where do they wear this piece? Uh, they wear these for Stairway to Paradise, which is the big tap number of Act Two, which is the leotard with all the um, Art Deco kind of appliques and things on them, which is uh, very much present just on the headpiece. Um, there are also a bunch of things that fly in from the air that are in this same shape, same colors that they project on. So again, that whole idea of the set and the costume sort of being very, very detailed and very uh, involved and very similar is really very apparent in this scene. We're going to have one last because I'm Well, it looks visually stunning. And you, know, you know, don't turn, ever turn up a chance to turn on to wear a thing like that. Never change taste not have feathers on your head. It's, <laughs> so it is, visually. Oh, visually, it's just stunning. The sets and the costumes, everything is just beautiful. It's it's what they say an extravaganza. It's an extravaganza. And the music will be music you'll recognize. Oh yes, you'll and you'll you'll hear a lot of the music that you've known from Irving Berlin. Yeah, it's really wonderful. So it's kind of a compilation of all of those songs. Yeah, and story. It, it, there, it, it follows the storyline of of the Gene Kelly. Uh, film and they kind of they change little things up but the characters are all the same uh, and it's, it's a lot more balladic okay. than the, the, the movie is a lot more tap dancing because you know it, Gene Kelly was sure. a fabulous tap dancer um, but it's all about you know the spectacle and the show business and, and the song and dance of the show. Oh it looks like fun. Yeah, American in Paris at Overtures tonight at 8 o'clock tomorrow at 2 and 8 and Sunday 1 and 6 30 tickets.overture.org and you are on vacation for a month? A month. Yes I need to get a little sunshine so we're going to be a month in Palm Springs in San Diego. Oh you lucky duck. I guess Hopefully we'll you will come back. I will come back. <laughs> yes, it'll be nice and warm here by April, I hope. You got all the high school musicals. This That's right. All the high school musicals will be starting in April. Reason to so come back. Yes, right, exactly. Well, see you in April. Have a good trip. <laughs> April Fool. <laughs> 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 That's me.